I have something to say to you guys that I think somebody out there needs to hear and I know I've been gone and I honestly apologize um so um so today was my first day at school so yeah guys i'm finally in tertiary <laughs> let's clap hands for jesus because he did that you know he he honestly did that for me so i was at school today um and i attended my classes and everything and i met my lecturers for the first time like officially officially and i was a little overwhelmed you know because there's like a lot of people and i kind of wasn't used to that anymore but um i was reading this book and then i started reading it today right i discovered something you know when you think about something and you've been through something but somebody just literally puts it in words for you like i'm gonna read um so before i read this part i just want to summarize what was happening just to give you guys a context right so this is a husband and a wife right who have kids right but one way or the other they just feel like god just dropped a desire in them to adopt so okay fine you know they take that desire and they run with it right um they do the paperwork they do all the things you know all the long processes of you know adoption right cool and then the processes are done right the processes are done and then they get to a stage right in the processes where they can finally reject or accept adoption offers right so and then he goes on to say that over the next few weeks two more referrals came each was a beautiful precious child each was followed by an emotional battle of research, prayer, and indecision, right? That's what the author says. So he then says something so critical and something that I feel like is so underrated, but so very powerful. He says, the willingness was there, but no peace. The willingness was there, but no peace, right? Sharp. And then he goes on to say that more awkward emails followed. So the emails that were following were emails of um, adoption offers, right? But still, no peace. Cool. So I want to stop there and I just want to touch on something really, really quick. What I got as I was reading that text is just because something is available doesn't mean you have to take it. I'm gonna say that again just because an opportunity is available it doesn't mean that it needs to be taken just because something going back to that something because something can be anything because if there's no peace you know, guys you know in my mind i just started unraveling obviously you know as the holy spirit helped me i just started unraveling these depths of like peace you know when you just unravel something like pieces peace was here and i was just breaking it down as i was reading this book and i'm like whoa guys personally i just believe that peace is a tool right i'm gonna call it a tool it's a tool that god just instilled inside of us to help us navigate and to know when not to do certain things so just because something is available or something is before your eyes it doesn't mean you should take it it doesn't mean you should do it you know especially when you are not at peace especially when you are not at peace so if there's anything that you take from this video is that if right if it's presented to you and in all your researching and in all your prayers and in all your decision making and you still have peace personally i think that's just god's way of saying you're on the right track but if after all of that and you don't have peace even before the decision making or after the decision making no i'm gonna tell you guys why because what happened after this 
is really gonna it it blew me away and then he goes on to say i turned it down jill cried that's his wife it was heart-wrenching an experience that was supposed to be a joyful journey for us had become a traumatic roller coaster and i sincerely wanted off the next month the agency didn't send us any referrals and to be quite honest i was relieved then came march 2013 a fifth referral landed in my inbox when i saw it i dreaded opening it so that's an adoption referral right she was a two-year-old girl who had been abandoned in a large city in China, diagnosed with a deadly heart condition. Her physical situation was more severe than any of the other children would consider. And yet when we saw her picture, an unexpected peace came over the both of us. I highlighted it, guys. I highlighted it. I don't know if you guys will see it. I don't know. I don't know an unexpected peace came it came it came it came and guess what guys when that peace came to them that was confirmation that you know what we should go forward with this one mm, 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 mm. they went forward and then fast forward to later on when they they get to know this baby's um this precious baby's details she was born on the 14th of feb 2011 guys on the very same day that god put the desire in the author's heart to to adopt a kid guys how great is god like i am mind blown i don't know if i'm making sense in all of this as i'm speaking it like i really don't know but i'm just so mind blown by the power of the tools that god has given us as his children or as human beings to help us navigate life like literally i don't know where this perspective came from but it just dawned upon me and i'm like whoa it took the absence of peace it took the absence of peace for the author to know that no i'm feeling this now and it's not good so i'm not gonna go ahead with it right it was hard right but they still didn't go ahead with it right in the same way it took the presence of peace for them to be like yeah this is it we're gonna go ahead with this one and they saw god ah uh, in this in this little you know i've literally only read like seven pages or three no seven because i was so mind blown i literally stopped and i was like what whoa no ways what so this is just a reminder this is that voice um that's saying to you that I, I, I don't want to say sometimes but you know let me just say sometimes because God works with us differently but I am convinced in my hearts of hearts that the absence of peace is God trying to save us from just doing certain things prematurely most of the time or just not doing things at all and the presence of peace for me just feels like confirmation clarity it feels like a push for god from god saying go do it so if that's the only thing that you take from this video yeah that is the title of this video literally i hope i've made sense and yeah that's literally what i wanted to say to you guys and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys see you on the next one